Notice uh, too that I've talked about uh, when the parent shuts down the child's experience. So the child comes up to you crying and you start saying, oh there, there, you don't have to cry, it wasn't that bad. What you're actually doing now is creating a very damaging situation in your child and that is the child's experiencing an emotion by the way which is yours that you were chose to not experience, right? Which in itself is unfair, isn't it, in the first instance. Then they come up to you and they'll always focus on the parent generally or the person who they're feeling the emotion from. They come up to you and you actually stop them from experiencing that emotion. So you're actually shutting down their experience of your own emotion. Does that make sense? Now what that does is it creates another emotion in them of, of rage. And this is why children at a very young age start becoming very enraged with their parents. And this usually happens by the time the child is two or three years of age. And that's why the child during that particular period of time often goes into these states that are uncontrollable by the parent. The terrible twos they're often referred to them. And there's lots of other explanations as to why they happen. The reason why they happen generally is because we have an emotion, the child is reflecting the emotion to us, but we also have an emotion of denial of our own emotion, which we want to also deny in the child, which creates rage in the child. Because the child can't now experience its own emotion without being shut down by us. It's a very, very damaging thing that we're doing in that place. So when a child is experiencing emotion, the thing we need to do instead is to say to ourselves, I feel this emotion. Just not even ask the child what the problem is. You already know what the problem is. If the child's crying, you're denying sadness. So you'd be better off asking the child, if you ask the child, ask it, what is it feeling? What is it feeling? And everything it reflects back at you is what you are not feeling that's in you. Does that make sense to everyone? Now, I know that many of you don't believe this, but if you put it into practice, you'll find very rapidly that it's true. Right? Where you'll see this relationship occur between you and the child. So you notice in that section I've got, the parent assumes the child has a problem when in reality, every single time, it's the parent's problem. Now that's pretty confronting as a parent to, to take on board, isn't it? Don't you think? You think back at every single problem the child had. So let's say they broke their leg. Right? Your five-year-old child fell down the stairs, broke their leg. That was your emotion that created that event. Right? That's pretty confronting, isn't it? To actually go into that emotion. Or let's say the child is six years old and gets this terrible vomiting wipe. And for days it looks like, you know, they're going to be dehydrated. And so, and so you take them to the hospital and you're so worried. Well, you know what? That was your emotion. Or let's say even that a child gets a disease. Maybe even a terminal disease. Well, that's your emotion too, or your, it would be better to put it, denied emotion. Does that make sense? Now, that's pretty hard to take on board as a parent, isn't it? Because, uh, like, I've, you know, tomorrow when I go through this with Tristan, you'll see the kinds of things I've had to take on board. Uh, you'll see that. And, yes, you can ask the question. When a when a, child, when a child wants to suicide, there's something about your emotion. Yep, always. Now, the key is to not judge yourself. You see, when you judge yourself, you prevent your emotion. So judging yourself is pointless here. But it is important to admit this is my emotion. Just admit to yourself. And in fact, you know what? Uh, I feel that the best possible thing you could do to your own spiritual progression is to have a child and feel all of their emotion and feel, and feel the reflection of all of their emotion back at you. And to actually act emotionally in response to it. That's one of the best possible things you can do in your own progression. I'm not suggesting you have a child for that reason, because that would be unloving. 
but it is a very, very powerful thing for you to do.